Welcome back to Girl Talk. Uh, we are right now at Contours Lingerie. We'll be uh, speaking with the owner, Tia Lin, in a little bit. Looking forward to yeah, it, and as right, always. Right now, we're going to be talking to Village Smile Care out in Mount Horeb. Yeah, Janet caught up with Dr. Angela Cody earlier this week, and she always is such an expert on anything with a mouth. She's always <laughs> teaching us what to do from healthcare to yeah. kids to all kinds of different topics. So let's see what Janet and Dr. Cody had to say. Dental implants can drastically improve your quality of life, letting you laugh and smile with confidence. Today I'm at the Village Smile Care Dental Offices in Mount Horeb, and with me is Dr. Angela Cody to discuss this dental option. We've heard of dental implants, but what exactly is it? Sure, so dental implants are the most lifelike uh, realistic tooth replacement option available today. Um, you know, in the past, dentures or bridges were other options or partial dentures, um, but with the advent of implants, there's just a more lifelike option. Um, there's a titanium post, that's the implant, um, and that actually gets implanted in the bone, and your body heals and forms a bond with the bone. They call it osseointegration. I hope this is an enlarged version. This is a very <laughs> enlarged version. They're okay. about, they're usually about three to five millimeters in diameter, and anywhere from about eight to 13 millimeters in length. So okay. they're very small. <laughs> Teeny tiny, sort yes. of like a screw. Yes, they mimic a tooth root, so about the size that your root would have been. Okay. Um, and then, so this will be completely under the bone and gums. You won't see it and then there's a healing period, and um, once it's healed, then an abutment goes on top. So this is the part above the gums, and this is like a tooth, but it's kind of the underlay of the tooth. And then on top of this, you can do a variety of things. You can put a crown on top. If it's a single tooth, you could do a bridge for multiple teeth, or there's different shaped attachments that can attach a whole denture, so you can replace um, a whole arch, a whole upper, if someone's missing all their upper teeth, you can do all the teeth. But we know, unfortunately, that people really judge us by our appearance. And when you don't have a great smile, it, it can really affect your quality of life, like we started saying in the beginning. Mm -hmm. This sounds drastic, though. Is it painful? And it must be worth it. <laughs> it is. So most people um, report it's much easier than having the tooth pulled in the first place when they had that procedure done. Um, with our advanced planning, we can have the surgery done in less time than a dental cleaning. And most people just wow. need ibuprofen. So it's really, even though it sounds scary, mm -hmm. it's really very limited in invasiveness. Okay, and you said, uh, how long does it take? The same as a dental cleaning, or less? Yeah, so an implant could be placed in about an hour. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. And it really can change someone's life. Yeah. You mentioned the other options like bridges and dentures, and we've heard of those too. How, how is this different and better? Um, so with a bridge, you're actually crowning or cutting down some tooth structure on the teeth on either side of the space. And so that can you know, damage those teeth. Some of them sometimes need a future root canal. It's also harder to clean because all the teeth are attached and it's resting on the gums. So there's special tools and techniques to clean under that. Where a dental implant, you can brush floss just like normal. Most people don't even notice it's there. Um, dentures can be loose, they don't fit well, so when people talk and chew, they're wiggling around, so um, the implants also can stabilize an existing denture um, and help so that that stays in place better. Hmm. Yeah, with the dentures, doesn't it also it can affect people's taste because of the paste, I think? It can, and actually the dentures will cover the roof of the mouth where a lot of taste buds are, so with implants you can get rid of that portion and do options that do not cover the roof of the mouth. So, so much more like having a real tooth. Yes. Okay. What about the risk? Um, can this, is this a permanent solution and any other risks involved? Yeah, with any medical procedure, there's always a risk of failure. Um, implants, though, have the highest success rate of most dental procedures we do. And right now, it's about at 98%. So, um, you know, if your body accepts and integrates the implant, which is a 90%, 98% success rate in non-smokers, um, it, it will be there for good, so it's there to stay. Okay, what kind of success stories have you seen with this? Oh, we've had patients that, you know, older patients that wouldn't smile, and their grandkids, you know, they were playing with their grandkids, and they said, I don't want to smile because I don't have any teeth, and, you know, we were able to give them an implant option where they can smile and feel like they really have some natural teeth. Wow, that's going to be so satisfying for you as well, mm -hmm. and happy for them too. Well, if you'd like more information about dental implants, or how to just get your smile back, you can check in here with Dr. Angela Cody at Village Smile Care in Mount Horeb. We're Girl Talk, and we'll be right back.